His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan upon his arrival on Thursday for a visit to discuss the bilateral relations, the means to develop them further, and the latest regional and international developments. At the reception were the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's representative for human humanitarian work and youth affairs and national security advisor his highness sheikh nasser bin hamad al khalifa the first deputy chairman of the supreme council for youth and sports chairman of the general sports authority and president of bahrain olympic committee his highness sheikh khalid bin hamad al khalifa the minister of the royal court sheikh khalid bin ahmed al khalifa the deputy prime minister sheikh khalid bin abdullah al khalifa and the minister of public affairs at the royal court Dr. Majid bin Ali al Naimi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting with the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein, yesterday in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and national security advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Public Affairs of the Royal Court, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi at Sakhir Palace. His Majesty welcomed the Jordanian monarch and the two sides reviewed the deep-rooted fraternal relations and the various aspects of cooperation, coordination, and joint work, as well as the means to support it and develop it. They hailed the advanced level of relations and the keenness on continuing developing them in all the fields that serve the two countries and the aspirations and interests. For his part, King Abdullah II expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality. They discussed the most prominent regional, Arab, and international development of mutual interest, most notable the Middle East and the developments of the humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip. In this regard, His Majesty the King affirmed solidarity with Jordan against terrorism and drug smuggling across its borders, commending the Jordanian role in defending Palestinian cause and supporting the people in Gaza, as well as the continuous diplomatic efforts of the Jordanian monarch at the international level. He affirmed Jordan's support for a ceasefire and the release of hostages and the rejection of forced displacement and protection of Islamic sanctities. He praised the Jordanian efforts in providing relief supplies and airdropping them. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to bid farewell to His Majesty the Jordanian monarch upon his departure on Thursday. Also present were their Highnesses, the sons of His Majesty and a number of ministers.
Bahrain Jordan relations are distinguished by their decades long history and their closeness and stability thanks to the vision of the leadership of the two countries and the continuous cooperation. More details in this report. Bahrain and Jordan share strong and deep rooted fraternal relations, which derive their strength from the efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Hussein, for the brotherly relations to grow deeper with the keenness of the two leaderships. Jordanian and Bahraini relations have been characterized throughout their history by the continuous and tireless endeavor of the two leaderships to bolster the distinguished political relations, where important achievements have been made at all levels. These distinguished relations played a prominent role, which was reflected in the bonds between the people of the two countries, becoming a model for relations and an example to be emulated. Mutual visits between Bahrain and Jordan came to strengthen and affirm the deep-rooted historical relations and the distinguished level that these relations have reached. The constructive cooperation at various levels was embodied by cooperation agreements, investment projects and the exchange of expertise in all fields. On behalf of Her Highness, Sheikh Haya bint His Royal Highness, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, consort of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Her Highness Sheikh Jawahir bint Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, consort of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Ramadan pop up exhibition organized by Plus 973 Artisanat. Her Highness Sheikh Jawahir emphasized the interest of His Majesty the King, as well as the support from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in backing the aspiring entrepreneurs to create new investment opportunities across all the sectors. She acknowledged the efforts of the Labour Fund Tim Keen in facilitating support for entrepreneurs that serves the nation and citizens' interests and boosts the growth of business sectors in the Kingdom. Her Highness stressed the dedication of Plus 973 Artisanat to showcasing young Bahraini talents, thereby enhancing the ambitious capabilities of local creators. The Chief Executive Officer of Plus 973 Artisanat, Dr. Sheikha May al Atebi, highlighted the role of Tamkeen in motivating young entrepreneurs. She commended the continuous support from Tamkeen, which has graduated over 350 entrepreneurs since the launch of the Plus 973 Artisanat project in 2012. She also praised the National Bank of Bahrain, Bank B Kuwait, support as an official sponsor of the exhibition, noting NBK's effective role in enhancing social partnership, encouraging the attraction of more creative entrepreneurs, and showcasing their products to the public. The Chief Executive Officer of the National Bank of Kuwait, Ali Fardan, expressed pride at the presence of Her Highness Sheikha Jawahir for inaugurating the exhibition, confirming her dedication to stimulating young entrepreneurs. He commended the organizers' efforts, emphasizing that creating new ventures contributes to raising competitiveness and diversity. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed the center's denunciation to all forms of racial discrimination and rejection to rhetoric that fuels intolerance and hatred, noting that the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, which embodies the vision and approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, aims to foster cultural and religious harmony. Marking the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed expressed deep concern about the increasing presence of this abhorrent scourge, which is currently directed towards refugees and ethnicities in particular. He lauded the efforts of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in advancing institutional work through promoting fairness, fostering a culture of tolerance and respect, and combating all forms of intolerance. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed highlighted Bahrain's dedication to upholding the human rights, promoting 
equality, and non-discrimination. He cautioned about the devastating consequences stemming from the proliferation of racism, highlighting its detrimental impact on peace, stability, and essential human values. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed said that the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence prioritizes the call of His Majesty the King to endorse an international agreement criminalizing religious, sectarian, and racist hate speech in all its forms with the aims of addressing the root causes of the discord. The Council of Commissioners of the National Institute for Human Rights, NIHR, held its 18th regular meeting chaired by engineer Ali Ahmed al durazi The council commended its proceedings by commenting by commenting on the cabinet's decision approving a draft resolution granting the National Institute for Human Rights observer status in several national committees, which stems from the Kingdom of Bahrain's belief and commitment to uphold and promote human rights, as well as its ongoing efforts to enhance the human rights system in the country. The Council took note of the action plan through which it seeks to strengthen its role in the field of protecting various human rights and ensuring that all individuals within the Kingdom enjoy their fundamental rights, guaranteed by relevant national and international laws and legislation. In implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to open, restore and develop 32 mosques affiliated with the Sunni and Ja'fari Waqf Directorate, in all the governorates of the kingdom and as part of the plan to develop mosques. The chairman of the Ja'fari Waqf Council, Yusuf As Salih, opened the Busbeh Mosque in Adraz. During the opening ceremony of the mosque, the chairman of the Ja'fari Waqf praised the attention paid by His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to places of worship, their reconstruction, preparation, and maintenance, which stems from their belief in the importance of mosques in building society, performing religious rituals, and promoting values and ideals. As Saleh praised the initiatives of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Waqf in following up on the implementation of the directives. For their part, those in charge of the mosque and the residents expressed pleasure at the opening of the mosque, noting the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to facilitate procedures. 79 years of achievements of the League of Arab States, which celebrates on March 22nd of each year, the anniversary of its establishment in 1945. This year's slogans, Consistency in Principles and Renewed Ambition, emphasizes the approach of the Arab League, which is based on respect for principles and standards, especially with regards to strengthening cooperative relations between member states, preserving their national sovereignty and confronting the challenges they face. The Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, is keen to support all the endeavors undertaken by the Arab League, believing in its pivotal role in strengthening the system of joint Arab action, which His Majesty affirmed that the rapid events the region is witnessing requires continuous consultation and coordination with the aim of unifying positions and overcoming all challenges as part of its role in strengthening the joint action system the Kingdom of Bahrain is preparing to host a meeting of the League of Arab States Council in its 33rd regular session in order to enhance the integration and coordination as well as discuss crucial issues that concern all Arab countries.